hello everyone and welcome back to my channel i hope you guys are doing really really well um i hope you guys are safe and healthy at home and just spending quality time with your family so today i am doing another review for you um, and the review i have today is for this one so this is the l'oreal fresh 24 hour foundation and more than more than more than concealer conceal more than concealer concealer that's a bit weird anyway so um i will be putting this on my face today um together and then we will do a wear test and we will see how we go okay so i have zoomed you in um and we will start with the foundation first um so this is what it looks like um it's your standard l'oreal packaging glass bottle plastic cap and then you've got a pump uh, the color i got is 20 ivory now i'm not really sure if that's going to be a good match because i bought this online and i saw a few swatches online so i could have an idea and i think this might be okay i'm not really sure it might be too light or maybe too pinky we'll see so this comes in a 30 ml um bottle um like always and i will just go through what they have written on their website according uh, for this foundation so um, this is a light, lightweight, long wear foundation um, that will give your skin medium to full coverage um, while resisting sweat, water and transfer. That is a lot of claims. Um, and it comes in 40 shades, which is always nice, but I, I, was, I was looking for it online and to be honest, 40 sh shades becomes a bit daunting when you, don't, when you can't physically go and try it, the shades. Um, and it also um, and they have suggested to wear this on your skin uh, with a flat top brush hands or a blender make a blender so um, I will be doing my usual self so I will split my face in half do half of it by hand and half of it by the blender and we'll see how we go okay so that is one pump it's rather runny, uh, a bit watery, and by the looks of it, I think this is not my colour, but we shall see. Yeah, I think that is definitely too light. Um, it does have a slight scent to it, but that scent, I think it's like a, exactly like it says, it's a very fresh scent. I'm just doing one more pump. Okay, so my right side, this one, I will do with my fingers. Let's make a line. Now it is very thin, um, and it's not very moisturizing. It feels, under my fingers, it feels very, oh, it's, all, it's literally already dried. So let's see. Wow, that is a lot of foundation. That is definitely too light for me. And it is quite a lot of coverage. What do you call this a medium coverage? Um, I would call this full coverage, to be honest. Um, right. And then the left side, I will do with my beauty blender. Oh, actually, it's the real technique sponge. Okay, so this is the right side with so this is where I used my fingers um, it almost feels like it's clinging to like it's literally gone all inside my pores which never happens with me um, it's made my skin look very dehydrated like it's Cling on to dry patches that weren't even visible before this and then on this side this is the side that I use the sponge <clears throat> again it's gone all in my pores um, hasn't covered this spot definitely lighter coverage this is high coverage but it's clinged onto my uh, dry patches over here that is not the case um i'm thinking whether i should do another pump but i really don't want to because it feels like 
I'm wearing. I mean, it's very, it's dried down immediately. Um, I almost feel that I don't need to powder this down because it's very, very dry. But on the same, but at the same time, I feel, I don't, I don't know. It feels that like my skin is very dehydrated, although I moisturized it really well. We should use one more pump, maybe. Um, I almost don't want to, but I'm only doing this because I think if they've claimed this to be full coverage, then it should be full coverage. And I'll put some of my spot in bar. Okay, so far, um, I'm not going to judge it completely, obviously, because we haven't done everything yet but I think so far the side where I have it I have done it with my fingers has given me more coverage but it's also given me given my skin a lot of texture the kind of texture that I don't usually see on my skin with other foundations um, and the side that I have with my beauty my uh, sponge it's much more natural it feels less heavy I'm not saying that it's a heavy foundation it's absolutely not you can't feel it on your skin but it's like a really tacky and a really dry foundation um, and it doesn't help that the color is horrible <laughs> but that's my fault it's it's not L'Oreal's fault so um, okay so we will go straight into the concealer now okay now on to the concealer um, again this is what it looks like it's a very big, big tube for a concealer. It almost reminds me of the Tarte, Tarte Shape Tape. Uh, the colour I have in this is 322 Ivory. Again, I think this is very light for me. Um, so this is the Infallible More Than Concealer. It's a full coverage concealer targeted all, all over. So you can use this as a foundation as well. I'm just going to read from the website as to what L'Oreal says. So this is, as they call it on the website, a shape, cover and contour full coverage concealer. Um, it is a full coverage and full full face wear up to 24 hours um, concealer with the highest av coverage formula in the widest concealer shade range. It has 25, um, it comes in 25 colours and it also says that it's multi-use. So you can use this as a contour and highlight product by using uh, um, so it says they can use this as a contour by going one or two shades deeper and then using a highlight as a highlighter to use and use as a highlighter by going one or two shades lighter so it's a waterproof non-greasy formula that won't transfer fade or flake so your full coverage is locked in all day and a little bit goes a long way why right, okay those are a lot of claims um, let's see what we have here okay so this is what it looks like uh, very reminiscent reminiscent of the Tarte Shape Tape big big um, applicator um, what I will do first though is wear my corrector because I always wear my corrector under any concealer so going to give this a fair chance okay so exactly the same way I will use this side I'll use my fingers and this side I will use the sponge so because it's quite full coverage I will use maybe one and two here one and two here I hope this color works but it looks like it's going to be really really light oh wow that is really really thick okay straight up on the right side again I use my finger and it's giving me <clears throat> insane amount of coverage um, you saw how little I used and then on the right I use my sponge and it's give, just giving me like a normal normal kind of coverage like literally my the right side of my face feels like someone else's face because it's so full coverage while well, this one looks much more natural than the other but on my other eye what I will do is add maybe one tiny dot here and then blend that in and see if that makes a difference 
what I will do now um, is do the rest of my makeup and then I'll come back um, just to see the final look uh, before I go on with my day and then we can see what it looks like at the end of the day so I'll be right back okay so I am back with my full face of makeup um, and what I will do now <clears throat> is take you slightly closer to the window so we can see exactly what the skin looks like. This is, this is the side where I use my fingers. And this is the side where I use the sponge. Now, I will have to say a few things about this foundation uh, before I give my actual verdict um, after the whole day, is that my I didn't have to powder this very much. To be honest, I only powdered my under eyes and very lightly in my T-zone, but I did not powder anything else. So what you see right now, especially around my cheeks, is exactly what the foundation looks like. It is definitely full coverage. Um, well, at least for me it's like medium to full coverage and it is very um, quick setting so you would want to work with this very quickly um, also you would need to moisturize your face really well um, I obviously did but clearly it wasn't enough so yeah I mean right now um, except the fact that the color is very light on me and it's not my correct color I think right now um, it looks much better than before I think the foundation has had time to really sink into my skin and become a part of my skin which is why I think it's looking slightly better um, but yeah of course I will go about my day and then we will do an end of day check-in so until then see you later approximately 10 hours later sorry guys i forgot to do an end of day um video for you but i thought i would just share my views about this um foundation and concealer so by the pictures you can see um it had the foundation has actually um come off from my face in patches um around my um cheeks and around my nose my nose was an absolute mess um the foundation is definitely very very drying um it's full coverage if you layer it with if you're using a foundation um brush or if you're using your fingers but if you're using a sponge then it will definitely not be full coverage it might just be medium um the concealer i don't like either because it um, again disappeared from under my eyes completely um, it creased really badly and for some reason um, it made my mascara run which never happens ever uh, because this mascara I've been using for a very long time so I don't really know what exactly happened um, but yeah anyway I um, unfortunately I'm not impressed with both these well, both the concealer and the foundation and um, yeah that's it for me for now and I shall see you guys uh, with another review shortly thank you bye